Alright, this is lesson 1.9 of our pre-calc 11 class. Unit 1 is called Radicals and Rational Exponents. Lesson 9 is called Simplifying Rational Exponents. In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to simplify rational exponents and how to simplify radicals using rational exponents. A reminder from our last lesson, radicals and rational exponents are related. They represent numerical equivalencies. So they're the same thing, but different ways of writing it. We could write the uh, a radical, um, uh, so like the, uh, if b is the root, the b th root of x to the power of a would be equal to x with an exponent of a over b. So the root is the denominator of the rational exponent. Okay, straight to examples. If I have 8 to the power of 2 thirds, I want to simplify this as much as possible, which means I want to make the base number as small as possible and write it with a single exponent or no exponent at all. So the first example, example A, the base number for A is that 8, and the exponent of that base is 2 thirds. So the first thing I want to do is pick on the base of 8. Um, what's the biggest exponent I can pull out of 8? Well, if I factor 8 out, it's 2 times 2 times 2. So that's 2 to the power of 3, which means 3 is the biggest exponent I can extract from that base. So I'm going to rewrite 8 as, uh, in brackets, 2 to the power of 3. And so I have 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 2 thirds. And then we can use our exponent properties to multiply powers. Um, we get 2 to the power of 2, which I can simplify. We can just simplify to be 4. Yeah, whenever you have a, a numerical base with an exponent, whenever possible, perform that calculation and leave it um, as a number instead of a number with an exponent. With letters, we don't, but with numbers, we do. All right, that's going to be the same business for everything else here. Uh, 64 is a bunch of twos. Um, in fact, it's six twos multiplied together. So the biggest exponent I can get out of 64 is going to be 6. In other words, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 64. And then we'll use our exponent properties and we'll evaluate the answer 16. 98 is going to be um, 49 times 2. And so I can, I can break this up. I can say, all right, 7 squared, there's a base 7 in there, and there's an extra 2. And so I'll have um, 7 squared times 2 all to the power of 1 third. Well, that 1 third power would go for each base. So it would be 7 uh, to the power of 2 thirds, and it would be 2 to the power of 1 third. Now, at this point, a good question would be, is this fully simplified? We took 7 to the power of 2 thirds times 2 to the power of 1 third, where we originally had 98 to the power of 1 third. As in, we just went from uh, one number with one exponent to two numbers with two exponents, or each with their own exponent. And the answer is, what is more simplified? The answer is, uh, depends on the directions. If the directions say, um, to simplify, which I problem like this, it won't, um, it's kind of ambiguous what they mean. Um, in general, you do want to make the number base as small as possible, but in this case, it's a very logical argument that the original is more simplified than the, the end result that we came up with. So if the directions say, write as um, uh, a rational exponent with prime bases, maybe you go to the latter. Um, if it said, write a uh, final answer as a radical, we have to switch these to cube roots. Um, let's leave it cube root of 98. It just depends. You know, the more I look at example C, the more I think it's not really a good example for simplifying. Anyways, let's move on. So the next one is 45 to the power of 1 half. 45 is uh, 9 times 5, or 3 squared times 5. I can distribute the power of 1 half. We get 3 times 5 to the power of 1 half. Or we could write that as radical, depending on the directions again. You could put 3 root 5. 
I would say this is definitely more simplified than the original. Uh, last one, we're just using uh, exponent properties. I can't break any bigger exponent from a 6. It's already 6 to the power of 3, so we're just going to multiply powers. Alright, so here's a list of radical um, expressions that are being multiplied. The first thing we're going to do is write them as rational exponents so that we can use our exponent properties to, to simplify. For each example, they have common bases, so 2's in example A. Um, because they have a common base of 2, when we multiply them, we can use our exponent properties. Alright, so in this lesson we talked about simplifying expressions with rational exponents. Um, and albeit sometimes it's a little ambiguous what fully simplified looks like, if those are the cases, just go back and read the directions. The directions will tell you exactly how they want the answer. We've also now know how to simplify radical expressions. We just turn them into rational expo uh, exp uh, We turn the radical expressions into rational exponents, and then we just perform whatever our, our exponent properties tell us to do. And that's it for this one.